the first important technology is drone technology because that gives it a very good ISR picture. Uh, it can see exactly uh, the movements of Russian forces behind the lines and tell them their dispositions and, and what their intentions are. So they're using drones extensively. And in particular, I think this war has uh, shown how important rocket artillery can be because it's very potent, very accurate, and can be brought to bear um, very quickly. And when you combine rocket artillery with drone technology that gives a target picture very quickly, the response time is shortened and therefore the whole thing is much quicker and faster. I think the two most important weapons are first of all the HIMARS multi-launch rocket system and they've used that uh, with great precision and that has had a huge impact. Uh, the second system has had a big impact. The Panzer Howitzer 2000 donated by Germany, artillery system to the fully automated 52 caliber, 155 millimeter, delivering massive automated firepower over very long ranges, 70 kilometer range. So you really can hit the enemy, uh, shoot and scoot, and, and they're really powerless to respond. So these more modern artillery systems are, are, are a real game changer. Warfare remains a human endeavor. It's about, you know, one man with a rifle going to kick the enemy out of their trench with their rifle. And everything that we do, you know, all the, all the, all the vehicles, all the, all the technology and weapons that we have behind the lines are there to support the infantry moving forward. And so the more that the infantryman sense that there is support behind him, the more confidence he will have to go forward go forward and, and route the enemy. Two years ago, you know, people were saying that the tank is dead, that infantry personnel carriers were largely irrelevant, but they're not. You cannot advance behind artillery or in the face of artillery without armor. Russia did not make progress in Ukraine until it started using proper combined arms warfare tactics and by that we mean the combination of artillery, armor and infantry working together with air power to seize an objective. And uh, this haphazard advance towards Kiev at the beginning of the war and in various other places, advancing across multiple fronts without proper logistical support uh, was just suicidal, quite literally. And the, the amount of casualties Russia took, you know, is obviously testimony to that. One of the key tactics that we've seen is the ability to fight in built up areas. And Ukrainians have developed that into a high art form almost. And that enabled them to hold on to Mariupol for um, a, a, an extremely long time. And, you know, any future war in Europe or Asia for that matter will revolve around fighting for cities. I'm hearing already in Kherson that Ukraine has made considerable gains routing the forces, the Russian forces that remained there. Uh, and again, leveraging their ability in this area. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing how that unfolds, but I expect Ukraine to be successful uh, um, reasonably quickly.